The import data function only works with CSV files. So, for some Excel users, the first step will be to save your spreadsheet as a CSV using Excel's Save As function. When the file is ready, click the Upload icon under Step 1 to select and upload it to the server. If successful, the name will be shown in the list of CSV files. Next, click the file you want to import so that its name displays in the Selected File box under Step 2. Most users can just click the Import button right away to complete this step. If your data contains special characters, you may need to check this option. The remaining field options are rarely used. If you have any difficulty importing your file, you can send us a copy for testing. We may ask you to change one of the field options and repeat the import. After clicking the Import button, your CSV file will be imported into a temporary database and the contents will be shown in the window at the bottom of the page. This step may take only a few seconds, or more than a minute, depending on the size of your file. When the data is shown in this window, you are ready to continue to the next step. Note that this is only a temporary database. You can repeat Step 2 as many times as you need to without affecting your stored product data. If you leave this page, when you return, the temporary database will automatically update to show previously imported data. To continue, click the Mapping tab at the top of the page. Here, you select which columns you want to copy from the temporary database to your saved product database. The only required selection on this form is Category. Every row in the spreadsheet must belong to a category or it will not be imported. The column in the spreadsheet does not have to be named category as it is in this example. If the spreadsheet contains the names of the photos, you can select that column now. If a spreadsheet does not contain this information, there is a manual image selection function which can be used later on the data editor form. If your data contains products which must be organized into groups, the inventory group selection can be used for this. Select a column which contains data common to every record in the group. In this example, both the photo and product columns contain the same data for the related rows. Now you can select which data columns you want to import. If this is the first time you are importing a file, the order does not matter and you do not have to select every spreadsheet column. The boxes next to the column selectors are labels, which will later be used as column headers and to identify the column on the template editor. You can change these now if you like, or accept the defaults. You can also change these labels on the category editor form after the data has been imported. The notes selection is actually just another data column, like any of the 20 other selections. However, the template designer has some more formatting options for this one field. If you have one column, in your spreadsheet, which contains a large amount of text, you can map it to this field to give yourself more flexibility in the design phase. This is entirely optional. If this is the first time you are importing a file, leave the Record option set to All Records and click the Append button to complete the import. This step normally only takes a few seconds because the data is only being copied from the temporary database to the saved product database. A pop-up will display how many categories and records have been imported. If you have changed the original spreadsheet and uploaded and imported it again using steps 1 and 2, then you can change the Records option under step 4 to Unique Records Only. Next, select a column in the Temporary Database to compare against a column in the Saved Database. In my example, I have a product code which is unique to every item. Now you can use either the Append button or the Update button. If you click the Append button, records in the temporary database will be compared against records in the saved product database. If a match is not found using the comparison fields, that row will be added to the product database. If you click the Update button, the same comparison will be made, but this time where a match is found, the data in the product database will be overwritten with the data from the temporary database. After appending or updating, you can exit to the main menu and click the Data Editor button to work with the new data. If you have any difficulty with importing, you can always send us a copy of your spreadsheet and we can import your data for you at no charge.